One thing about Maddie that we didn't really talk about in the last video is he's actually kind of terrified of snakes. So you've never held a snake in your life. Well, you just turn your head away from me and we'll continue along that line of uh, relationship. <laughs> I thought I saw a snake plant back there. Top of the morning, folks. Friends and family. My buddy, Maddie. You guys remember Maddie? He was uh, owning the plant shop there in Shell Beach. Had the cool chameleon. He's coming over today. Like I mentioned in that video, I got this snake that you guys saw in another previous video. And he's gonna bring a bunch of plants over and we're gonna build out this enclosure for. The Vietnamese blue beauty rat snake. Now, one thing about Maddie that we didn't really talk about in the last video is he's actually Kind of terrified of snakes. <laughs> That's not what we were planning on, was it, Marshall? So Marshall's doing great. As you see, he's a little bit, <laughs> maybe feel a little bit like he didn't want to be pulled out of his enclosure on this particular day, which should be absolutely perfect for Maddie. The funny thing is I don't have a ton of experience handling bee booties. I had, I was able to handle a bee booty over at uh, a blue booty. Ed and Emily's zoo when I was out there in Minnesota. And then my buddy Matt Bernardin over at SoCal Herps had a blue booty for a little bit that definitely tried to eat my face. And I definitely uh, dodged it like a matrix ninja. But yeah, super cool. So something I was gonna bring up when I was talking about this snake when we were first showing him off when he first came out of his little travel box is <laughs> <laughs> they kind of remind me of the colubrid version of scrub pythons now marshall we're okay you just chill out bud i know this camera's a little bit intimidating i'm just gonna put it down you just turn your head away from me and we'll continue along that line of uh, relationship. How does that sound? Marshall? Marshall? Good. Yeah. Good boy. You good boy. That is a fun snake. I think I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> good boy, Marshall. You're a good snake. Good boy. Daddy. Uh-oh. You're on camera. I'm here again. What'd you bring? I brought a lot of goodies. Welcome oh. to the party. Party. This is a lot of soil, a lot of plants. A lot of good stuff. It's called a philodendron moonlight. <laughs> I thought I saw a snake plant back there. Trail up and around. Got a long chordatum, which is another philodendron. So these are all gonna be little fillers. Got a bunch of leca. Got some cork bark, sphagnum moss. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit all of those in this enclosure. Let's go take a look at the enclosure. We're gonna figure it out. All right. That thing wants to eat me. Dude. So what do you say before we build an enclosure, we get you over your uh, your fear here real quick? Because uh, you know it's gonna be if you're gonna be building enclosures for people out there, I think you should probably uh, get over your fear. And I should probably wipe this crap off my lens. Can they smell fear? Can they smell fear? Yeah. I mean, their smell sense of smell is six. Let's just say no. I'm like a giant piece of beef jerky, so does that help? Okay, I'm a plant person. I love plants. I love exotic plants. For you and this, like, that's plants and me, you know? So that I respect it a lot. To the point where I might poop myself if it looks at me the wrong way. Let's get you started <laughs> off with something like this, I think. I don't know exactly what you know about ball pythons, but ball pythons are super chill. <laughs> oh my god, that's a big ass snake. This is actually, it's not that big. Well, you saw the snake over there? This is a small snake compared to that one. Hi, buddy. This is Bernice. 
And she's super chill. She's she's a truth snake. And all you have to do is... So you've never held a snake in your life. Well, it's pretty simple. Just put, put your hands... So they're not slimy. They are just dry. It's Their, their scales are coated in keratin. So it's like the back of your fingernail. It's like, that's what it wow. feels like. Okay. If you rub the back of your fingernail, that's what it's going to feel like. A bunch of those, like a bunch of little fingernails, basically. Um, so, you that's... just put your hands out oh, like she's... that. Oh, she's just a little flinchy, I guess. Hey, girl. Yeah. yeah. See? Hey, mama. Easy. And hey. this snake is not going to bite you. Like, you couldn't get the snake to bite you if you wanted her to. I promise. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. You're holding your first snake. This is dope. No, I want one. <laughs> well, no, I don't. No. <laughs> watch. Watch here. Yeah, let, me, let me show you how let me show you how chill this is, okay? No. Ready? No, don't piss her off. Oh. Kisses for daddy? <laughs> Kisses for me? Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, she's checking you out. They use their tongue to, uh... Hi, girl. Oh, are you sweating, huh? I am. <laughs> Look at your hands. Your palms are sweaty, bro. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at that palm sweat. Dude, Eminem, dude. Mom <laughs> spaghetti. Here it comes. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Well, to be fair, I was I was sweating just a minute ago when I was holding that be the blue beauty snake. And oh, Jesus. Look at that head. thing. That one, he's definitely going through some interesting... Yeah, that's kind of a good point you bring up. So, guys, uh, Junior has been exhibiting uh, breeding hat behavior to me. Like he's throwing big arches up on the side of the thing and he he's uh, poss possibly a little bit dangerous right now because of that, uh, you know, male reticulated python in breeding mode. But I'm wondering if I should breed Junior. Are there enough of you guys out there that would be willing to take care of a... Uh, I was thinking I'd put him with Halo if I was going to breed him. I had planned to breed reticulated pythons when I first got them, and then I decided not to, but maybe we could make one exception for Junior and Halo. And just assuming that there's enough people out there that are willing to care for a mainland reticulated python if they get one from me. That's what I would base it off of, so comment down below, let me know. Uh, she's born in captivity. So kind of the opposite of a wild animal. So they cool. start really small? Um, yeah, so it's about twice the size she was when she was hatched. That's awesome. So. She was about half this size when she first came out. Dude. Which, oh yeah, might as well show you guys too. Update. Clown, Enchi Clown Pied Female. Hold back here, Triple B. Looking fantabulous. She's got me. <laughs> She's got me. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> her, her tail's so strange looking. It's like a dragon. Good job. Thank you. You done that's did cool. it. Well, you're doing your. <laughs> wow. Hey, dude. Lost my life. <laughs> <laughs> they could have lost your life. <laughs> I don't know if you want to go to level ten, uh, level nine. That, that was level three, we'll say. We could go to level eight real quick. What? For holding a snake? No, absolutely not. So Okay, well So which one I which kinda, one do you I kinda like using the well It's up to you. We, we can easily Yeah, use let's use the one, one without it. If okay. that cool. Not yeah, not a problem at all. Because I think the stick is already gonna provide enough. Sure. So I'll uh I'll get these snakes out. Look at, look at, there it goes. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my god. That's, that's what you call breeding behavior, right? There. All you're seeing is the reflection. <sighs> Chill, dude. Okay, this is crazy. Alright, go on, fuck. go on a timeout. I don't want to think about getting bit by a retick in breeding mode. Oh, oh really? Oh really? We don't even know each other. You don't even know me like that. You don't even know me. You're like you're like me eating an Oreo. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Come on, Hilo. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Give new attention. Hello! Stay at the 
It's not for me to chew on. Don't make me put you in a tub. Ah, dog. Freedom breeder work racks. Get, get. <laughs> ah. Like that's some high quality dirt. Obedience classes next month. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna be able to find my snake. <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal, man. going in the hole. Oh, you were just all crumpled up in the corner there. <laughs> uh -oh. Hopefully this will make me a little bit happier. Holy What's up, dude? Shit. Gotta get a little closer so you can see the snake. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, that's me enough for me. <laughs> you gotta get a little closer. It's supposed to take the Oh yeah, see he's happy now. <laughs> well, it looks like he's getting his belly's getting a little pink. He's gonna be going into shed soon. All right, buddy, you want to check out your new digs? Check this out. Check out what Maddie made for you. Get out of my armpit, home slice. Here, check this out. See what you think about that. guys think of the new enclosures looking pretty decent i'll leave a comment down below let us know what you think about maddie's job there how he did especially with all this dog distraction <laughs> <laughs> ah my jugular vein <laughs> <laughs> obviously go follow him at leaves me love on instagram if you guys want to get an enclosure planted up like that then go hit up maddie right here oh. <laughs> i'm going home <laughs> hit me up all right, well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next one. Aloha. Good job!
Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you're struggling to poop one out. <laughs>